Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one of the important areas of international business that is the area of national competitive advantage by Michael Porter. We know that there is classical and neoclassical theories and these theories focused primarily on the factors determining the pattern of trade. The national competitive advantage theory given by Michael Porter explains why a particular country is more competitive in a particular industry. For instance, Italy maintains competitive advantage in the production of ceramic tiles and Switzerland possesses the competitive advantage in watches. Why this difference? Porter explains that there are four factors responsible for such diversity and he calls those factors as the diamond of national advantage. And the four factors include first one factor condition, second demand condition, third related and supporting industries and fourth firm strategy structure and rivalry let me explain first factor that is factor conditions factor condition means uh, the natural capital and human resources available that is we know some countries are rich in natural resources for example saudi arabia you know for oil so this explains why Saudi Arabia is one of the largest exporters of oil worldwide. At the same time, human resources. That's also a factor, right? But that is created factor condition, such as skilled labor force, good infrastructure, etc. Here, Porter argues that these created factor conditions are more important than natural factor conditions that are already present. Okay. The crux is that as factor conditions show how far the factors of production in a country can be utilized successfully in a particular industry. Actually, this concept goes beyond the factor proportion theory. Factor proportion theory means HO theory, Heckscher Hollin theory, or it is also called factor endowment theory, which sees the availability of factors of production is important. But this theory focuses more than the availability of factors of production. This theory focuses on the continuous upgradation of the created factor conditions. Clear? This is possible if labor force is well skilled and better trained. For instance, if one sees that Japan possesses a competitive advantage in the production of automobiles, it's not simply because Japan has easy access to iron ore, but this country has skilled labor force for making this industry competitive. Clear? Secondly, demand condition. This says that there must be presence of sophisticated demand conditions from local customers. If there is sophisticated demand conditions from local customers, that pushes the company to grow, to innovate and to improve quality. So the crux of the second point uh, is that simply the demand for the product must be present in the domestic market. And according to Porter, it's not merely the size of the market that is important, but it is the intensity and sophistication of the demand that is significant for the competitive advantage. That is, if the consumers are sophisticated, they will make demand for sophisticated products and that in turn will help the production of sophisticated products. Gradually, the country will achieve competitive advantage. Next point is related and supporting industries. Uh, it says the presence of related and supporting industries provides a foundation. That is, companies are often dependent on alliances and partnerships with other companies uh, for creating an additional value for customers and become more competitive, right? That is, there may be strong backward and forward linkages. For instance, um, especially suppliers are crucial to enhance innovation through more efficient and high quality inputs and timely feedback and short lines of communication. So companies from a particular industry or from a particular country will benefit most when these suppliers are global competitors. So it's natural, it will take years to create a strong related and supporting industries but definitely it will assist the domestic companies to become globally competitive. 
one more point is there if competition is acute every firm will like to produce better quality goods at lower cost in order to survive in the market clear so for example we can say silicon valley where all kinds of tech giants and tech startups are clustered in order to share ideas and stimulate innovation fourth factor is firm strategy structure and rivalry which says uh, the firm's own strategy helps in augmenting export as there is no fixed rule regarding the adoption of a particular firm or strategy we know the strategic decisions of the firm have lasting effects on their future competitiveness at the same time industry structure and rivalry is also equally important the greater the rivalry the greater will be the competitive strength of the industry and we can say domestic rivalry is instrumental to international competitiveness because it forces companies to develop unique and sustainable strength and capabilities for example we can say the japanese automobile industry with intense rivalry between the players such as honda toyota suzuki etc so because of their own domestic competition they have become able to become more easily compete in foreign markets clear so these four factors that is factor condition uh, secondly demand condition thirdly related and supporting industries and fourthly firm strategy structure and rivalry these four factors are responsible for maintaining a nation's competitive advantage as explained by porter so it's also called diamond of national advantage however there are two additional factors such as government policy and chance of events that is besides these four factors potter gives weightage to these factors also because the governmental policy influences all the four factors through various regulatory or deregulatory measures because it can control the availability of various resources or change the pattern of demand through taxes okay so it can encourage or discourage the supportive industries through various incentives or disincentives that's why we are saying that the government can influence these four factors right similarly chance of events such as war or some unforeseen events like inventions innovations that is the likelihood of external events it may be negatively or positively affect the benefit uh, of a country or industry it may be a fundamental scientific breakthrough but these events are beyond the control of the government or individual companies Uh, what i am trying to say that uh, these discontinuities created by chance may lead to advantages for some industries at the same time disadvantages for some other companies okay that means some firms may gain competitive positions while others may lose that's all about potter's diamond of national advantage see you in the next video thank you